In this video, we will unbox and learn the concepts and processes about perimeter. Hi, Search Ed here and it's Math O'Clock. In this episode, we will discuss one mathematical concept under geometry, and that is none other than perimeter. And for our learning quest, we will find the perimeter of polygons, and we will solve routine and non-routine problems in real-life situations involving perimeter of polygons. We will now start our discussion by having our word problem. The Reyes family wants to enclose the rectangular garden with a fence. If the garden is 54 meters long and 30 meters wide, what is the perimeter of the garden for them to know the meters of chain fence that they need to purchase? By understanding this given situation, we are going to solve for the perimeter of the garden in order to know the length of the chain fence that they need to buy. In short, we will be looking for the perimeter. But before we proceed on solving the perimeter, let's define first what does it mean. When we say about perimeter, this is the distance around the figure. And therefore, the perimeter of a polygon is the sum of the length of all the sides. To find the perimeter of a geometric figure, we add the lengths of all its sides. Let's go back to our word problem and try to solve it now. In this situation, since we are tasked to find for the perimeter of a rectangular garden, therefore, we can use the formula of the perimeter of a rectangle. A rectangle has two lengths and two widths that are the same. And with that, we can make use of this given process. Perimeter of a rectangle is equal to L plus L plus W plus W, where L stands for length and W stands for width. To make it shorter, we can have 2 times L plus 2 times W. Let's now substitute this given formula by the data that we have on our story problem. We can have 2 times 54 plus 2 times 30. Next, we will be having 108 plus 60. Our final answer would be 168 meters. We can have this next story problem. Mother is sewing a pink tablecloth and she wants to attach lace around it. If the tablecloth is an exact square and one side measures 13 feet, how many feet of lace will she need? To answer this, we can make use of the formula of finding the perimeter of a square. And since that a square has four equal sides, we can conclude that the perimeter of a square is equal to 4 times S, where S stands for sides. Let's now substitute our given formula by the data provided in our word problem. 4 times 13 is equal to 52 feet. Therefore, mother needs 52 feet of lace for the tablecloth. One more try! So Dino is going to make a triangular path in his garden. The sides will be 7 yards, 12 yards, and 9 yards. What is the total length of the path? In this case, we will be solving for the perimeter of a triangle. And the triangle that we are having in this given example is a triangle with no sides equal with each other. And therefore, 
the perimeter of the triangle that we will be applying in this given situation is A plus B plus C, where every letter stands for each side of the triangle. Let's now substitute by the given data. 7 plus 9 plus 12. In total, we have 28 yards. And therefore, the total length of the path is 28 yards. Furthermore, the table shows the formula in finding the perimeter of some polygons. We have the triangle with three sides. The formula is A plus B plus C, where A, B, and C are lengths or sides of the triangle. The second one is a square, which is a polygon with four equal sides. Its formula is 4 times S, where S is the side of the square. The third is the parallelogram. This is a quadrilateral whose opposite sides are parallel and equal. Its illustration is also projected on screen. To solve for the perimeter of parallelogram, we can use 2 times A plus 2 times B, where A and B are the lengths of two sides. The fourth polygon is a rectangle. It has four right angles. To solve for the perimeter of a rectangle, we can use 2 times L plus 2 times W, where L is the length and W is the width. And last example is a regular pentagon. This is a polygon with five equal sides. For its perimeters formula, we can use 5 times S, where S is the length of each side. Moving forward, let us now apply the concept and the skills that we just learned to this following word problems, starting with the first one. Mika measured the perimeter of the window in her living room and found it to be 14 meters. If the length of the window is 4 meters, what is the width? To visualize our story problem, let us have an illustration. Let's assume that this rectangle is the window and it has a length of 4 meters, but the width is still unknown. That is what is asked in this given word problem. For our first step, we can identify first the total length of our window by the given data. So, we can multiply 4 meters by 2 and therefore it has lengths of 8 meters. How about the remaining length? For the remaining length, 14 meters minus 8 meters is equal to 6 meters. This time, to solve for the width, we need to divide the remaining length by 2. 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3 meters. Let's check if indeed 3 meters is the width of this window. Let us now check if our answer is correct by doing the checking process. Let us have the formula for the perimeter of a rectangle. 2 times length plus 2 times width. Let's substitute. 14 is equal to 2 times 4 plus 2 times 3. 14 is equal to 8 plus 6. And 14 is equal to 14. With this given process, we can say that the width of the window is 3 meters. Let's proceed to the second item under the application part. Jason needed to figure how much construction tape was needed to close off the parking lot at the mall. He measured each side of four-sided lot and discovered that two sides have the same length with 32.5 feet. If the other sides measured 45 feet and 52 feet, what is the perimeter of the parking lot? We can apply this given formula to solve for the perimeter of this given polygon. 
per perimeter is equal to 2 times A plus B plus C. Let's substitute. 2 times 32.5 plus 45 plus 52. Next, we have 65 plus 45 plus 52. And in total, we have 162 feet. For our final answer, the perimeter of the parking lot is 162 feet. And for the last word problem under the application part, Clyde wanted to know the perimeter of a stop sign. He measured one side and found it to be 7 inches long. What is the perimeter of the stop sign? We have here a stop sign with a shape of an octagon. This given octagon is regular octagon. Therefore, all sides are congruent. Let's try to solve the perimeter of this regular octagon by having this formula. 8 times S, where S stands for the sides of this regular octagon. Let's substitute. 8 times 7 is equal to 65 inches. Therefore, the perimeter of the stop sign is 65 inches. Wow, you did an awesome job. Lastly, let's review and have our math backs at this point. When we say perimeter, this is the distance around a figure. To find the perimeter of a polygon, we add the lengths of all its sides. We have the following examples. The following are our references. And that concludes our lesson in this episode. I hope it gave you the essential ideas that you need to remember and understand when we are talking about perimeter. Also, I hope it enriched more your knowledge and skills in finding the perimeter of a polygon. This is Sir Chad. Until the next math o'clock.